Hello and welcome to my After Effects tutorial. I was gone for two weeks but now I'm back and in this tutorial I will be showing you how to morph between different fonts. It's pretty simple and it looks really cool so let's get right to it. So to start create a new composition. Uh, the width is 1920, height is 1080, frame rate 29.97, and the duration is 3 seconds. So, once you've opened your composition, you need to type in your text. And uh, I'm going to use the font Corbel. And for the second layer, I'm going to use chunk 5. Let me find it, and that's it. So you need to make sure that both of these text layers um, have the same font size. And once you've done that, um, you need to align these to the center of the composition. Now you need to right click on this layer and click on create shapes from text and now you need to do the same thing with the second one and then you can delete both of these. So what you need to do now um, is go to contents and then select all of these letters by clicking on the first one and then pressing shift and clicking on the last one. Um, then you need to click on this, click on the path, uh, press Ctrl A, and then create a keyframe, and that will create a keyframe for all of these letters. And now uh, press U, and now we can see only the keyframes. Now we need to do the same thing with the second one, so I'm selecting all of them, then I'm going to press Ctrl A, and then I'm going to create a keyframe, and then I'm going to press U to see only the keyframes. So now you need to select all of these, press Ctrl C, and then click on this path, uh, move 10 or 20 frames by pressing Shift and page down, and then you can you need to select all of these paths, I'm sorry, and then you can press Ctrl V to paste the keyframes. So now you can delete the first layer and let's see what we made. So this looks pretty bad and now I'm going to show you how to make this look better. What you need to do is you need to click on the first path and you need to figure out um, which point will be in the same place on both of these fonts. So for T, I'm going to use this point, I'm going to select it and then uh, go to mask and shape path and set first vertex. Then I'm going to the next keyframe and I'm going to click on this point and then go to mask and shape path, set first vertex. And now that looks good. Um, now we need to do the same thing for all of these other letters. So I'm going to go to the first keyframe, going to select the E, and I'm going to try with this point. So I'm going to click on set first vertex, and then I'm going to go right here and do the same thing. And the E is looking better. Now I'm going to take this X, I'm going to use um, this point, so right click and then set first vertex, then I'm going to go to the first keyframe and I'm going to click on this point, mask and shape path, set first vertex, and as you can see it's looking better. And now on the T, we already know which point to use. It's this one. So I'm going to set the first vertex and this animation will look better. Let's see what we made. 
So what you can do is you can easy use these keyframes to make this look a bit better. And another thing that you have to pay attention to is when you have letters like B, um, when you create shapes from text, um, you will have uh, multiple paths. And you need to make sure that uh, when you paste your keyframes that you don't paste the inner path into the outer path because that will look very bad. So that's it. There's a project file download link in the description. Um, I hope you liked the tutorial. Please subscribe and check out my channel. And thank you for watching.